I think that the, clearly uh, the changes that were designed that the OWG came up for 2009 were, were meant to improve overtaking capability of the cars. It, it definitely made the cars easier to follow. The cars are much closer now in terms of racing than what they used to be. Uh, however, they're, they're, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. There's, a, there's some improvements in the weight to the cars, so they do become easier to follow. Uh, but one thing that hasn't really been addressed well at all so far is the circuit design. And you've got to ask yourself, why, why can you, do you go to a race where, such as Barcelona where no one ever takes and then, then take exactly the same cars to Monza or uh, Montreal or, or uh, the Hockenheim circuit and you get lots of overtaking? Well, those cars are exactly the same cars aerodynamically. They're still Formula 1 cars to the same design. Yet on one circuit they overtake a lot and on another circuit they, they don't overtake at all. And it's because of the circuit layout. It's because the, um, the, 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 when they lay out a circuit, they don't look uh, close enough at, at the combination of slow speed corners onto straights followed by slow speed corners and ensuring that you don't use chicanes in places. So this is something that, that the FIA are, are dealing with now and having a really st strong look at. Because if you look at someone like Abu Dhabi, which was a brand new circuit, uh, it was there's some very good aspects to that circuit. But because there's some, some pretty fundamental mistakes there, uh, they, they need to change them before next year and you know, there's no point in being sensitive about it. Ultimately, the, you, you, there wasn't good enough racing in Abu Dhabi and Formula 1 has to look at itself and say why. And, and you can't keep putting all of it on the car design all the time. You, of course, the car design has some aspect of uh, responsibility for it, but if you went to all circuits and you never saw any overtaking, then you could blame it all on the car design. But clearly that's not the case because there's places where cars do overtake. Anyway, so this, this needs a pretty thorough look into it, something that, that the FIA are taking charge of now, so hopefully we'll see something good come out of that. The three big changes next year are no refueling, narrow front tyre, and wheel fairings band. So in, in that order, uh, the, well, looking at the narrow front tyre for a start, uh, that this means that the weight distribution will potentially shift rearwards slightly, uh, so it'll, it'll change the setup of the car. It also changes the aerodynamics because of the, where it positions the front tyre wake. Uh, no refueling is obvious, you have to carry all the fuel at the start of the race, so the cars will become carrying the order of three times as much fuel as what they do at the moment. So the driver has to manage brakes and tyres more than what he used to. And the wheel fairing should actually improve the, the wake behind the car as well, because they're quite dam as well as just lose some downforce, uh, they're also quite damaging to the wake behind the car. So that will, that will also improve things again. Well, we chose Rubens because he's a multiple Grand Prix winner, has a lot of experience and brings with him a a, a huge amount of enthusiasm to, to win races. Uh, he's still quick, he's, he's won two Grand Prix this year. If you look at his qualifying performance against Jensen in low fuel Q2 sessions, then high fuel Q3 sessions, it's, it's exceptional. So he's, he's really the, the right package. And so we're, we're quite happy with the signing of Rubens. We combined him with the, with the young, young gun, Nico Hulkenberg. And Nico's won everything since karting from the age of 10 up to his GP2 championship this year. <coughs> so he looks like a a good potential for the future and hopefully someone will develop into a champion. So combining the sort of youth with experience is something that we was on our on our list of targets this year. <laughs>